Hi there, I'm Megan, and today we're going to use a pair of tuna balls and a wall to do a standing release for our glute muscles. So this is a big fan-shaped muscle that comes from the back of our pelvis, along our sacrum, and across to the back of the leg. So we'll start with our tune-up balls in a satchel. And we're going to come to put them right in the meat in the center on one leg. And I'm just placing them in a vertical position between me and the wall. And I'm allowing my body weight to sink back. My feet are ahead of me a little bit. And I'm just trying to let my legs get nice and heavy, maybe lean back, release the effort. Seeing if I can bring my breath down into the belly, just starting with some static contact here. Allowing the breath to slow down to really tune into the sensation of the pressure in the leg behind you. As you do your rolling, your breath is your guide mark. So if you find yourself holding your breath or tensing your muscles, the depth is too much. Bring more body weight into your feet. Let's add a little bit of rolling side to side. So we're gonna lean all the way to the left side of my body and then really slowly through center to the right. So all I'm doing with that one glute is just rolling slowly over top. The balls stay in place. Maybe noticing a difference in sensation in different areas. And if it feels like your tune-up balls are slipping, you're always welcome to readjust. Oops, sometimes they go flying. Let's come back into stillness in the center, adjust to that comfortable leaning back depth. And the same side that the tune-up balls are in, let's just lift that knee up towards the chest, maybe reaching down to hold it. Watch your balance. Again, you can stay still or you can add the tiniest of the micro movement if it's not too much sensation or too hard for your balance. You're moving, come to stillness. And then with our knee, let's just open it out to the side, dropping it down to the floor, bringing it into the middle. So we're doing a counterclockwise circle. Move a little slower than you want to. One more. Reach behind you. We had our snowman in the vertical position here, our little tune-up ball package. We're gonna move coming crossways, making sure you're in the meat of the muscle. We don't wanna push on the tailbone. Come back to find that position. Ball's on the same side we've been working. <sighs> Letting the breath settle. and start to push into your feet. Come up onto your tippy toes. Feel yourself roll up and over and slowly lower back down, maybe even bending through the knees, letting the balls roll up right to the back of the pelvis. And pushing through the feet to stand up, maybe even right up on the tippy toes, rolling back and forth. Nice and slow. Maybe there's a sticky spot. It feels nice to just stay and lean in for a moment. 
Notice how you feel. Shifting up and down. Staying still. Good, come back, reach behind you, grab your props, move away from the wall. Just take a moment, standing still. Just notice what you feel on the side you were working on compared to the other side. Maybe even trying a little hip circle or pulling in towards the chest. See if that movement feels different to you. And depending what you need, if you need some symmetrical care, if you know that that other side of your glute could use the same release, take some time to repeat this exercise on the second side. But also know that no two sides are quite alike. It might be that only one side needs this care. So as you begin a practice of checking in, noticing how things feel stationary and during movement, you can start to learn what might be helpful to support you in your recovery or in your maintenance regimes. I hope this was helpful and I hope to roll and move and breathe with you soon.